Chev, are you gonna you gonna get that? Need help? Oh, oh, you got it. Oh, hello everybody and welcome back. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my island, aptly named Wawa. When you first step onto Wawa, you'll be greeted by a colacanth. Cola, cola synth, cola can big ass fish. You got a vending machine so you can get all your drinks, all your Dr. Peppers, all your Cokes and Pepsis and orange Sprites, whatever you drink. This is Coco, easily the best villager that I have. She seems to be analyzing these flowers as if she's never seen a plant before. Did I say Coco? I meant to say Julia. I don't know why, I don't know why I said Coco. Over here we've got our bridge that hasn't been built yet. Uh, how much money does he actually want from me? 27,000 bells, dude? I don't got, I don't got that. I don't think anybody else on my island is really contributing to this as much as I thought they would. Oh, this is, uh, who is, who are you again? Punchy! He just moved into Wawa, he's having a great time. Welcome to the land, Punchy. We're gonna have the best villagers on this island. Oh, I should explain this. For some reason, viewers on streams keep sending me garden gnomes. I don't know the reason behind that, but it's just become a thing now. So I'm like, all right, fine. I'll just form my own military after it, and there you go. So yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of junk, um, on the island, but it's okay. Of course, here is our town hall, nothing special here, but Stonehenge is right behind it, so that's pretty cool. Here I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to sell at Nook's Cranny, because uh, I haven't exactly done that yet. I always play this game at night for whatever reason, as you can see. Uh, so I'm kinda... <laughs> oh yeah, here's the Sphinx in a pyramid next to a river. There's something I really didn't think I would ever say. Ooh, a money tree! I've only ever gotten a thousand dollars out of these trees. If I could get more than that, that'd be great. I could dig in the right spot. That'd be spectacular, too. A thousand. Man, there's a really rare chance of- Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, I don't have ten thousand dollars. I just donated it to the- want to the guy. I'm gonna leave that open and then come back to it. Will that stay like that if I leave it? I certainly hope so. I saw a present over here. I don't want to miss this. Now, let's see what we get. Hopefully something good, but I won't be able to find out because my inventory is still full. I haven't sold any of the stuff that I got. Let me just sell these things real quick so I have some space in my inventory. And then we'll continue with the tour. What am I, a doctor's office? What kind of items are these? I don't want these things. Look at this is disgusting. Anyway, buy my stuff. $50,000? I did, I did just sell a lot of stuff. I sold like a bunch of fish in pairs. What's going on over here? There's a whole bunch of people. Oh yeah, this is my ore fish. I don't know why I have it. I just, I do. Oh, I can see what's in these presents now, finally. Aha, there it is. All right, fingers crossed. Please be something good and not useless. Prim outfit. Oh! Dude, I look like a nanny. Oh, you like this, huh? You're interested in that? Oh, you're- you love. he loves this outfit. Oh, he's giving me a gift. Thanks, bro. What did he give me? A utility sink? What is this? Thanks, dude. How did you- how did you get this? Oh, I can put on some drip. I'm gonna put on my sushi drip. Oh, that looks great. Look at me. I look so good. Not a no, I promise. I... I don't know about that, Cam. I have a feeling that's probably a gnome. Oh, it, it's not a gnome. It's... it is different. Huh. He might not be a gnome, um, but he does look like he would lead the gnomes. So I'm just gonna... gonna kind of put him there for now. Okay, so over here we have the residential area. This is where all the villagers li Hey, whoa, who are you? And what's with that net? Do you live here? I'm Flick. I do live here. Do you? No, go away. I've been traveling across the island looking for my soul bug. Is that... I mean, whatever you're into, dude, I guess. I... I suppose. So I can sell my bugs to him to get extra money? Interesting. So this guy is, like, super into bugs. I don't have any bugs on me that I could sell. Um, but if I find some, I'll bring it to him because I get that extra cash money for that. <gasps> this is Chev! Another one of my awesome villagers! I feel like you're staring at me. It's making me nervous. I'm... I wouldn't do such a thing. Who lives here again? Oh, this is my new villager. This is the guy that just moved in. I don't know, actually, no, I forget who it is. Oh, it's you. You just moved in. Coco. Coco likes to live underground, apparently, due to these sedimentary layers she has as wallpaper. She's so cute. She's like a little, she's like a little graham cracker cookie. So Al moved out. So who lives here now? This is, is this nobody's house? The lights are on. Oh, it's you. Oh, you're leaving. Oh, look, he's all packed up. Poor Al. Look at him. He's so stupid. What's he clean? What's he? What's he dusting the floor for? It's made of dirt. Oh, look! I'll tell you what, Al. I'm definitely not gonna miss that view. That's for sure. <laughs> Ugh, monkey butt. Outside of this, there's not really anything left on this island. This is this is pretty much all that I got. Uh, a couple villagers and some houses for the villagers and holes in the ground that are glowing that I need to put ten grand into. The beach is a little bit messy. Uh, I don't know why there's just a boot just here. Here it is. Oh, look at her sitting next to the weeds. 
Oh, you little pothead. Oh, I forgot to showcase my house. Oh, this is my house. Uh... This is what it looks like. Over here, we've got my lab experiment room where I make a lot of very hardcore drugs. Here's my toilet. This is where I poop. I poop here. This is my koi fish. His name is, uh... His name is Flare, as of now. His name is Flare. It's my little get dressed area with a sauna included. Probably not a safe thing to have next to a wooden wardrobe, but it's alright. And of course, here we have my peach rug that uh, farts out purified air. Really brings the room together, if you ask me. Over in the room to the left, we have my work in progress kind of studio area, I guess. Here we have a DJ booth with an HD TV right above it. A globe, just in case I forget what Africa looks like. A telescope for spying on the name, uh, looking at stars. A desk. Writing desk for doing my homework because I'm a good ass student and you know if you want to play some uno uh, You can do that too. And finally, of course, we have the kitchen You know, this is my favorite place to be the best food is made in here wrist twisting like it's stir-fry I'm actually really happy with how this turned out and a lot of this stuff is actually going to be converted uh, Into the diner that I'm going to build I'm building a diner on my island at some point I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it somehow I picked up this lost item, but I'm not too sure where to put it I guess it goes to one of the villagers. I gotta go see who owns this junk. Hey, you. You've been- you're still sitting here? Looks more like Leonardo's kind of thing. It's just a sack. How do you know it's Leonardo- it's Leonardo's sack? Does Leonardo look like the type of guy that would carry around a sack? Well, objectively, he does. Yo, Leo! Yo, bro! Yo, don't- <laughs> you don't want to mess with those guys, be careful. Bro, is this your sack, dude? Oh, this is the bag that I thought I was gone forever. Oh, I have to do something nice for you, so please take this. Oh, I hope it's good. I hope it's expensive. I hope it's expensive. You can have my old fishing vest. It's still in great shape. Thanks, man. That's if, whenever I find somebody's misplaced item, and they say, you know what, I'm gonna give you a reward for giving me something that I- Helping me- That owl is alive?! I thought that was a statue for like, weeks now. That just shook my whole world, dude. Every time I see that owl, he's just sitting still. I thought he was a statue. I thought he wasn't real. Why is he an actual owl? And Blathers is a friggin' living, talking, breathing thing. But that owl was just straight up an animal. Whew. I can't- I can't believe that's a real owl that's alive and breathing. You really like sitting here for some reason, huh? You don't mind the bag of weeds right there? Maybe that's her- maybe that's her bud, I don't- I don't know. Wow, she got up, s turned slightly to the right, and then sat back down. I've never seen somebody so committed to being a potato in my entire life. I thought of this idea on stream, and I kind of want to see what happens if you do this. What if I give Leo an ore fish? Because if you give a villager a pet, they will put it in their house in a little fish tank. What happens if you give them an ore fish? This is a very expensive experiment, but I kind of want to try it and see what happens. Thanks, I'll take good care of it. Having it around might help me with my dolphin kick. Dolphin kick? Gotta give as much as you take. Please take a groovy tunic. Leo, that is not equivalent to an ore fish. I don't know what world you live on. Oh, never mind. That is totally equivalent to an ore fish. Hell yeah, dude. Yo, dude, do you want this bug that I got? I got a man face stink bug. These are usually worth a lot. I wonder if he'll take it. A man face stink bug. Would you sell to me for 1,500 bells for a stinky bug? Yeah, dude. I'll, f I'll freaking take that. I see you present floating above this house. I think I don't notice you. Can I reach it? Got it! <laughs> what do we got? Something good, I hope. It's not that good. Ooh, money! Hey, that's pretty good. Who put a hundred dollars in that tree? Who was like, oh man, I'm gonna stick this right up here, no one's ever gonna notice. Probably friggin', probably Leo. Ooh, another hundred <laughs> Leo, you gotta hide your money better, dude. A piggy bank. Something. That's not money, those are bees! Okay, okay, just be careful, be careful. Be careful. Think about what you're doing here. Get your net! Get him! Oh, 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 man! Not today, wasp! Ah! Dang it, man! One day, owl, one day! Julia is still sitting there, slurping on that drink. What I want to do before we leave to get a new villager is I want to relocate the houses that we have here. Because I want to make this sort of row here a place where the residential area is. And I have to add a new plot of land to get a new villager, so I want to put it in a good spot. I want to move Leo's home. I want to move- and- and-, and I know the- 50,000 bells! I'm really about to spend 50,000 bells to move Leo's house three feet back. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, Leo, time to move. Does it happen overnight or is it an instant thing? I feel like it's not an instant thing. What's up, Leo? 
Hope you don't mind me uh, moving your uh, house somewhere. Oh no! I'm sorry about that. I, uh... He seemed really distraught about that. Perfect, that's the spot. That is the spot right there. That's where I want it to be. Okay, so it doesn't happen instantly, so we know that now. So eventually this house will be here. So then I want to move Sylvia's house also to a different spot, which will cost a lot of money to do, but I'm willing to spend it. It is a price I am willing to pay for the sake of my island looking nice. I got I have to wait a day for Leo's house to move. Okay, so I can't relocate another house while he's working on relocating Leo's house. So for now, I'm just gonna buy a housing kit, place on a new plot of land, and then we're gonna go look for another villager. I should also mention before we do anything else that this is my first time playing Animal Crossing. I've never played any Animal Crossing game before in my life. So I'm probably gonna do things wrong. I'm probably, I'm definitely gonna make mistakes. Um, but you know, just keep in mind that this is my first experience before you write a mean comment. Okay, now we're gonna build this here, this looks correct, I think. Perfect, this is right where I want this house to be. Uh, these two houses are kind of close to each other compared to this one, but that's all right. Maybe I'll pay $50,000 in the future to move it two inches to the left. Hey, now that we have placed on our plot of land, it is time, ladies and gents, to go looking for a villager. Now, I know there's this whole thing with, like, dreamies where you have these villagers in particular that you really, really want, and I do have two of them that I really want, okay? I got Zucker, and I got Dom. Well, you're definitely not... What is this? Who are you? Monkey? Pink monkey? Nana, like banana. I don't want to say she's not cute enough because that sounds really messed up. Um, but that is exactly why... <laughs> exactly why I'm not interested. No, snail, why? Little advice I was given by my stream chat. Every island you travel to has one piece of furniture in the trees. So if you shake every tree with a net, um, eventually you'll get it. And there it is! Move, monkey. I got a football. That's interesting, I guess. I don't know if that really counts as furniture, but I got it. Okay, so the only thing I've gotten from this island uh, was a football. Uh, I guess that's a net gain if you ask me. Okay, attempt number two. Let's see what we got. Oh, froggy boy. Oh, I gotta, I, I gotta dress appropriately when meeting him. Is this inappropriate? His name is Huck. <laughs> Man, what an awesome name for a frog. Huck. That's a pretty big fish over there. It's probably a sea bass, but I mean, you gotta take your chances, otherwise you'll never get any good fish, right? Ugh, okay, never mind, I wish I hadn't taken my chances, it was a waste of time! That's more like it. Okay, please give me something... What? Are you a daredevil elephant? A delephant? Big top! This is so cool, villain, why does he call me a villain? I'm the good guy, dude! Maybe because I'm in a towel and wearing a face mask and I'm naked, maybe that... Maybe that's a little, not the most appropriate thing, uh, to be meeting somebody in, but that's okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, uh, that makes me feel better. Okay, I'll take that. I can't carry anything else. I gotta swap it for something. I wanna keep that stuff so I can sell it. I could probably take that off. <gasps> no! I pressed B. I'm actually an idiot. Are you serious? That was objectively the stupidest thing I think I've ever done. I was gonna press B, I was gonna try to drop something, thinking that for some reason, B was the button that I needed to push. And of all the times that I would make that mistake, it happened to be the time where I got an fish. Oh my god! That fish was so big, did you see how big that was? What if that was another fish? and I just missed it? What if that was the same ore fish that I let go, it swam around to the front of the island, and I just missed it because I didn't press A quick enough? No more stupid sea bass is dumb. So dumb, so stupid, everything is stupid. What's with these fish? Are they mating? Gross. Disgusting, dude. I'm angry at everything. I'm angry at nature. <laughs> I'm angry at myself. I am the luckiest man alive for finding an ore fish randomly on an island and catching it, and I'm the stupidest man alive for just letting it go. Let me know if you want to see more Animal Crossing videos like this, if you want to see my casual playthrough or whatever. Um, but in the meantime, thanks for watching, uh, and thank you for 100,000 subscribers. Good lord, that's awesome. I appreciate all you guys' support uh, as of recent. It's been kind of insane, so uh, thank you all for all your support, and there's going to be good videos coming. It's going to be great. It's going to be it's going to be a fun ride. So I appreciate that, and I will see you guys in the next video.
Here I go. I'm gonna make a touchdown. 